हेलो किड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल मैथ्स फन लर्निंग आई एम ए मैथ टीचर राशि इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस हियर अबाउट सेकंड एंड टेंजेंट व्हाट इज दिस सेकंड एंड टेंजेंट डोंट वरी दीज आर स्ट्रेट लाइंस ओनली बट रिलेटेड विद द सर्कल्स टू अंडरस्टैंड द दीज लाइंस व्हाट आर दीज फर्स्ट लेट्स डू वन एक्टिविटी go and bring some bangles so here i bought three bangles three bangles and for a straight lines you need any sticks so here i have a one pencil and two small sticks you can also bring that okay so why i use three let's do that activity and there i will explain you so all you are ready for our activity let's start this bangle the shape of this is a circle so here you already know about what is circle what is radius diameter and chord this i discussed in my one of my video if you want to know more about this i will send my link of that video about circle in my description box you can go there and check now this sticks i'm using here to explain you radius radius is what at the center point the center point of the circle is this is a center point yes a point that is a center point of my circle if this line one line segment if join the center to the boundary of the circle that is called a radius so let me take the stick and cut cut it stick like this and you can find that from the center to the boundary of the circle the radius is same to everywhere look from every side the radius will same i move the line segment from center to the boundary of the circle so it is joined so it is that line segment is a radius now we'll talk about diameter so what is diameter diameter is the line segment which join from one side of the boundary of the circle to the other side and it go through the center point like this you can see okay i have to break the small part of this stick mm. here you can see wait you also have to cut your stick with the help of a scissor so that the line will be fit mm, okay i will just kept it like this okay so this is a diameter from one boundary and you can see the diameter the li line segment of the diameter one end is uh, touched to the one uh, one side of the boundary and other end is touched to the other side of the boundary and it go to the center point of the circle and this is our radius we already learned about this now you learn one more line segment inside the circle and that is chord what is chord the line segment which joins the boundary but it's never go through the uh, this uh, center point So that is called a chord. I hope it is clear to you. Why I discussed here this one, I will explain you. Now we'll come on the second circle. This is the circle. This is the circle. Here, a one line or a straight line go through this circle from any side. You can see it here. Okay, I will take another pencil to show you. This is a small pencil. You can see this is a line. Line go through the circle, and you can see 
this line is difference you can uh, see the line is going and you can see this line cuts your circle from the two points one point is here and one point is here that is a second here if do you notice something different the difference is these lines radius diameter chord these lines are inside the circle but second is the uh, second has a line which is outside the circle and this straight line interacts inter sorry intersect a circle in two points this is this line is outside the circle it's not inside so here is the difference between these lines okay now what is tangent let's do one activity the same activity to understand the difference between the second and tangent i'll take the another pencil to show you here this tangent line this is also a straight line but how it will go it's moving like this the tangent line is passed near of the circle like this and here if you observe that tangent line this line is called a tangent because it's not cross the circle but it's touch the circle what you observe here if you can see it if you observe that line and circle join from a one point it's not cross the circle it is outside the circle this line is outside the circle is just joined from one point and that point is called point of contact i hope you clear this point second tangent how many seconds are there second lines are there in the circles if you observe if you observe you can see you can see there are many seconds line because you can you can observe if you move your pencil here and there you can observe there are many seconds line are there that means it, it is infinite what about the tangent how many tangent lines are there it is in a numbers no you cannot count these tangents you can see from every point you can find this tangent lines are going circle yeah now so let me draw these in my sheet and then i will explain you yes second the meaning of this second is to cut this word comes from the latin word secer so here the difference in second and the chord is you can see the chord that is also cut into the two points and you can see the second here that is also cut circle from the two point so what is the difference here the second line and the chord so i'll just write the chord here and this is second the difference is second interact intersects the circle at two points but chord touches the circle at the two points here i hope you understand the difference it intersects the uh, circle in at the two points i will just mention here a and b and the chord it touches the circle at the two points right a and b okay so here second is drawn from the outside of the circle the chord lies within the circle technically second is not a chord but it contains a chord you can see it contains the chord the segment between the two points which intersect the point the uh, circle that is a chord you can say that okay so chord 
is in a unique second line, right? So here the definition of the second is a straight line straight line that intersects a circle in two points is called second line. Kids, you can understand if you got confused. You can see sec, sec means second. You can relate with that also. So you can understand and never forgot about the second line. Yeah. Now let's come to the tangent. Okay, one more point. Like uh, if the question will come, how many second can be uh, the circle have? So you can say it is infinite. Because we cannot count that. It is infinite second lines. Now let's come to the tangent. Tangent is uh, one tangent can touch a circle at only a one point of the circle. You can see it is it has a one point which I will give a P point and that P point is also called a point of contact. Okay, so I will write there point of contact. So this is called a point of contact. So what is a tangent? The definition of the tangent is okay, um, first let me uh, tell you the, the meaning of the tangent. The meaning of the tangent is to touch. Oh, the ant is also want to learn. So the meaning of the tangent is to touch. And this word is also coming from the Latin word tangent. So tangent to a circle, you can see tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of the P. If you can see, if I will join these lines, you can see this is perpendicular to the radius. This tangent line is the perpendicular to the radius. What is the definition of this? So it is a line tangent or uh, it is a straight line. A uh, straight line that touch. Touch uh, the circle at exactly one point I hope it is clear to all that touch the circle at one point that point is that point is called point of contact very good point of contact so that is a tension so what is the angle between the tangent and the radius because radius is the perpendicular to the tangent line the angle which is formed it is perpendicular so when it is a perpendicular you always see it is it forms a 90 degree 90 degree did you notice this tangent somewhere else you can see in near of you there are a lot of things you can find the tangent time. For example, I have a very good example for, to, for you. You can see, suppose this is a circle or this is a wheel of your cycle and this one is a rod, road. Your cycle is moving on the road, the wheel is moving on the road. You can see the line, the road is act as a tangent line and this wheel is act as a circle so here is the point of contact and now i will give you one small homework that you have to give me a lot uh, examples of the tangent line and the second line kids i hope you understand and it is clear to you what is second and what is tangent line so if you uh, like my video Please subscribe my channel and share with your friends.
Thank you.